Warning, some scenes contained in this video may not be suitable for everyone. A history of mistaking cold truth or hate speech may result in a serious shutdown of all cognitive functions and a retreat back to comfortable lies as the alternative of choice. In case of symptoms involving sudden withdrawals of critical thinking, please shut off this video immediately and enjoy the training school of hard knocks. As for those with a spine and some sense of derision, please take a seat and be my guest. Who on earth is legit in the trading business? Such is the question that we all asked when looking for trading material. With the overwhelming number of scams all over the place, this trading education series could not have been complete without a fully dedicated course on the subject. So today, let's make this video count as your definitive one-stop shop for calling out the most typical variations of trading frauds that plague the internet, mostly on social media platforms, such as YouTube and Instagram, and let's save you some time and money in the process. For starters, what you need to realize is that what scammers are doing is not sophisticated. A true professional can spot them a mile away, but it doesn't mean that you can't. And this is precisely what this video intends to do. Bridge the gap in your favor. You see, all the streaks these people use against you rely on that same boneheaded body of deceptive tactics, exploiting two cognitive biases, really. They either prey on the lack of knowledge of newcomers to the trading arena, or they cater to people's yearn for obtaining results quickly and or without any actual efforts. And that's it. All other differences are marginal and rely on shades of marketing gimmicks used to fake trading performance, create a false sense of value, and eventually lure you in to shake you out of your cash. So to get a better understanding of how this is accomplished, let me introduce you to the seven typical baits that scammers expect you to bite on. First, we have the pseudo-psychologist. Their chosen angle is to blur out the picture and deflect your expectations from what you should actually be looking for, which is a proper, objective, articulated, actionable, and proven trading strategy. Since they obviously can't provide any of that, what they sometimes resort to instead is to pay for a huge subscriber following to create the illusion of popularity and then proceed to cater to your ego by pushing these new age style personal development mental stunts in the form of motivational quotes, wannabe winner think, mindset preparation courses, and even, and I'm not joking, meditation classes. All of which are of course completely useless if you don't know what you're doing. Many right brain people flock to these kinds of scams because such methods do not require actual work, but merely convincing yourself that you are doing something of value. The tough reality is that a great mindset comes from confidence, which itself cannot be born from anything else in this business but knowledge. In other words, if you have the knowledge, then mindset will take care of itself. You want to know how much meditation I do to get ready for trading? None. Zero. Ever. What I do, though, is math. Real work. And naturally, the knowledge that my shots have a positive expectancy is enough. I don't need any kind of mental preparation BS on top of it. And that's what these guys don't want you to be aware of. Otherwise, they know that you won't buy it. And in the process, they knowingly exploit most people's inability to understand the difference between a necessary and a sufficient condition. Sure, it goes without saying that a proper trading mindset, meaning the required mental fortitude to carry out a proven set of trading rules, is a necessary condition to trading success. You will indeed fail if you don't have it. We can agree on that. That part is true. However, and that is the big caveat here, in no way is it a sufficient condition to succeed, meaning that mindset alone will not get you where you want to be in trading. And that is why these retarded courses will not further your cause. If you spend money on these, what you are doing is putting the cart before the horse while making you forget that all you needed to move forward in the first place was just to ride the horse and dare to take the necessary bruises. You will not be going anywhere by focusing on the comfortable cart. Profitable trading strategies are the same. They will not magically spring out of your mind simply because you want them enough to happen. Reality does not work that way, folks. And if you expect these reckless salesmen to make it work for you, then you are the greater fool for believing it. Then comes our second scheme, the tech wizards. So this is how this one works. 
the sales or motivational pitch is usually extremely well oiled and revolves around conveying a false sense of expertise by showing off a sophisticated artifact using all means necessary. So it starts with that space shuttle grade trading station with 50 screens and computing power sufficient to jumpstart a nuclear plant. And that clueless dude posing with a brand new setup that probably cost him five times his most ambitious annual profit goal that he never made. I'll let you in on the secret here. After almost 15 years of trading on a daily basis to a consistent profitability, I only just upgraded my trading station, which itself was last upgraded back in 2010, and that still had a residual value of barely 400 bucks, including the screen. In fact, I still kept a single screen after the upgrade. Guys, I trade just about all the most active speculative markets available out there. And one wide screen is more than enough. So when I see two, three or five or more screens, I really have to wonder whether these morons got a multiplex cable subscriptions when they opened their trading account. Listen, the only thing that you may, and I really insist on the may, need to upgrade eventually is your RAM when you run multiple trading platforms simultaneously, with 16 gigs being the absolute maximum that most of you will ever need. As for computing power, an i3 powered budget processor is more than enough. End of story. So when I see someone show off a trading rig like that, I know from the start that they're just kidding themselves. Actual traders know it, and they will never come flashing their rigs in your face with their 10 screens because they know how much of an absolute noob that would make them look. Another way these tech clowns hope to get you in is by flashing the super duper software or MT4 expert advisor. You know, the one application that's gonna make you a million dollars when you sleep using tired methods such as price action and pattern recognition. It is all about marketing and making an impression, guys. The more sophisticated it looks, the more bells and whistles, the better. But do we have any truly verified track record to back up the bold claims here? Of course not. I mean, why should you expect any proof of performance when they're asking prices merely in the thousands? And speaking of which, beware of the new scam on the block. You will not believe how many of these AI systems are flourishing. It's AI this and AI that these days. You know what these pieces of software are most of the time? A glorified stack of if-then functions. So for your sake and that of your trading account, forget this fad because it will come and go just like the other ones. And let's finish off with the third variation of this tech nonsense. These are the unicorn selfless people on YouTube who want to give you for free the technique that made them all that dough. What's the likelihood of that? About zero? And how do we know? Because once again, no impartial proof of performance is provided. And especially, what they serve you is a broad brush strategy or indicator with some cherry picked examples where everything that matters to make it plausible and reliable has been left off. Meaning the underlying scientific rationale of why it works, the statistical relevance of its mechanics, the objective, no guesswork rules to be used, and the long term robustness of its performance. In other words, everything that matters has been overlooked. And what does remain in this nonsense for you? A convoluted bunch of claims. And trust me, there is no shortage of them. Most of the time pushing the same old price action crap trap. Because you can't have enough of something that does not work apparently. But let's get the clown show rolling, shall we? I'm telling you, this video is going to get more and more ridiculous as we go. So you better hold tight to your seat because shit's going to ramp up quickly from here. We're going to take a deep dive into magic with this one. So please make way for the crystal ball readers. I know a lot of you may roll your eyes at this. Who falls for this bunk, right? Well, I'll tell you who does. Most of you do. Because most of you keep falling for this same common pitfall. That is the widespread belief that trading means predicting. And that, my friends, is how they get you. Because trading is everything but predicting. Trading is all about reacting. No matter a trader's level of expertise, absolutely nobody knows what way and when the next market move is gonna take place. Sure, professional traders do make informed decisions, but that's not the point. The point is that regardless, they have no idea how that very next individual trade is gonna turn out. Their accuracy comes in the aggregate thanks to the law of large numbers and is shown only through an extensive sample of trades, but single trades and market calls, every single one of them taken separately, no matter how you slice it, they remain a 100% blind bet. That's a blanket statement. And that very reality is certainly not how things are portrayed here. Look at this channel, for example, typical of this type of scams. What is going on here is a streak of downright oracle predictions on a continual basis, obviously providing no quantified trace of historical performance. 
What you will find though is no shortage of clickbait doomsday prophecies screaming from the rooftops about the so-called crash of the century and end of the world meltdowns, calling them every other week. Now the cringe part is when these crazy predictions come back by non-stop religious references because that is the ultimate seal of credibility that you can bring to some people apparently. Except you are viciously using their own faith against them. Let me tell you the first teaching of the Bible is do not steal and that includes not deceiving people using God's name to cover up your scam. And I'm sure that you think oh that's ridiculous nobody believes this crap anyway right? Or you pause the video and you read the comments for a minute and you tell me if I'm being overly pessimistic when I say that people are delusional to a straight jacket mental disorder. But you know the irony? At some point, these tea leaves readers are going to be right. Inevitably. It will happen eventually with statistical certainty. You know the saying, even a broken clock is right twice a day? And when their prediction finally happens after being wrong for 10 years straight on 500 occasions, then you just watch out. Because all of a sudden, the reality that timing is everything in trading will be forgotten altogether. And all you will hear are claims of accuracy that will conveniently make use of all the survivorship bias that they can put their hands on to clear the gazillion wrong calls made in the past. And they won't give you a break about it. So take heed guys, if they claim to know the future, just run for your life and quick. Now more often than not, a lot of the scam tactics that we described so far are wrapped into one single product in the form of a trading course or some kind of trading school. Now let's hold on for a second and ponder what follows. What I am saying is not that the mere fact of being a course provider makes it all a scam. What makes it so is doing it frivolously, meaning portraying your paid content as a way to improve the trading performance of your students despite any substantiated evidence that either you or your students have actually done so using said course. And as the saying goes, those who know but do not do, they do not know. That is what totally makes it a scam. Let's take three popular trading course businesses trending on YouTube to demonstrate my point. This one, this one, and this one who also happens to show off its YouTube popularity because apparently being popular is a seal of quality to prove your worth in trading, like it's decided by a vote or something. But I digress. These following common markers consistently betray them. Once again, what most of them do is nothing more than recycle the same old Main Street baloney that can be found anywhere for free on trading forums. Why? Because as silly as it sounds, just like their students, they don't know anything else. Now let me ask you these two questions. One, why in the hell would you pay someone to teach you when they don't know any better than you do? And two, do you really expect to gain a trading edge by doing what most people do in the market? I mean seriously, think for one freaking minute. All of these authorings are nothing more than a nicely repackaged, rebranded form of supposed techniques rehashing the same used and abused pattern recognition or price action or touting these magical indicators that if found will bring you a lifetime of riches. But hey, I mean at least sometimes this crap even comes with a lot of goodies, right? As I said, anything to cover up the lack of substance. Look here. You're getting your several grand's worth of made in China USB stick and fancy mouse with a logo slapped on it. That's one brilliant investment you made there, champ. Congrats. I mean, come on. These guys must literally be laughing their asses off whenever they get a sale. But back to the point. I defy you to go to their respective websites and find any valid proof of performance that would validate what these people intend to charge you for. And that is crucial, because I am yet to find any of these educational programs to be backed up by an actual third-party audited track record from either the teacher, let alone from the students. All you get all the time is a bunch of bogus testimonials and screenshots that don't mean a single thing because obviously they can't be verified. There is even a video from one of these popular trading schools where the owner is telling you right in the eye that results and money don't really matter to assess trading success. I'm not joking guys. I mean what? Are you effing kidding me? So tell me what does matter then? Painting your trading screen with useless indicators to turn it into a botched Picasso? I mean what the hell? So now I want you to go grab a glass of water and take a deep breath because we are going to dive deep in the trading scam swamp. Say hi to the lifestyle buffs. This is possibly the most common tactics used by internet scammers. If you had a bad day and need a good laugh, definitely stick around because I've got some seriously ridiculous material lined up for you. 
So how would you like yourself a horde of clowns one-upping each other by showing off more liabilities perceived as luxury by the masses? The chosen angle here is simple. It is all about pushing those emotional buttons that make your greed turn glowing red. And sadly, sadly, the stupid jazz works on people. Because most of you are so easily impressed by lifestyle nonsense, stuff and status. And I mean so easily impressed. Trying to find a sense of self-worth in what you own and show off to the world. Reacting to this Pavlovian conditioning that more luxury items must equal more success. But hey look, I mean trading is all about money. So if these guys can afford luxury items, then they must know what they're doing. Makes sense, right? Wrong. How do you even know? if these posers actually do own what they show up as opposed to renting them for a photo shootout. And even if in the improbable case where they would truly own these cars, what's in it for you anyway? Did they actually pay for it using their trading profits? Or is it all coming from a personal inheritance? Or the abuse of leasing? Or by profiting from some shady marketing referral schemes? Or by selling some trading related material that never made them one dime by trading with it? In other words, is their wealth actually replicable by you using whatever trading service they pretend to offer? And especially, especially, what sense of freaking financial literacy transpires from idiots who found nothing better to prove themselves than showing off with depreciating assets? I mean, come the F on, guys. Ask yourself the right questions, for God's sakes. Look, I'm not going to tell you anything about myself, but I can tell you this. The rich know better than to own any of these items. Only the ultra-rich do own them. Because these are freaking running air on their balance sheet. And that kind of net worth starts at 8 to 9 figures, not 1 million dollars. What are the odds that someone weighing 20 mil will feel the need to come show off his toys on effing Instagram if he's really worth 20 million dollars? Yes, that's how dumb the whole thing is. And yet they are going balls to the wall using all the tricks and items in the book to impress you. Are you ready for it? Because I've got the whole list and I did put my hands on the entire family photo album for you. The first item of choice is cars, of course. Cars, cars, and more cars. Because you can never have enough of the worst residual value items on the planet to teach people how to make money, you know? Fast cars that even make it to the trading room in some cases. Because there's nothing like exhaust fumes to help you focus on those beaten to death head and shoulders patterns. Plus, you never know, you might need to bail out faster than expected once you realize that what you've been sold for a course is nothing more than recycled BS that you can remember reading in some odd forum five years ago while blowing your first account. But wait, fast cars alone are cool, alright? But why not add some fast women to the party too? Gotta cater to those libidinous losers out there. Cause let's face it, most cannot hope to get a decent looking woman without paying for it, so here you go, trading forex is gonna fix that too. But guess what? They're just getting started with the circus. Fast cars and fast women are great, sure. But fast cars and fast women with that borrowed gangster attitude will take it all up one notch. So bring in the gold chains and the menacing posture of you alone with that vengeful grin on your upper lip or your whole crew looking like that failed rap band from the 90s that you can't recall the name of. Remember guys, you are supposed to be taught something of value from these very people. For a fee of course, mind you. Do you still feel confident? Because for those of you who are still a little slow on the uptake, let me compound the idiocy a little further to make it definitely apparent to you. How would you like yourself some rental jet to get you to your sublease property and then enjoy a stage shopping spree that luckily spilled some play money for you to flash? Wanna know how? Here. The process is pretty trivial actually. You go ahead and set up a decent marketing budget for your campaign, say 20k, with the goal of selling 100 courses at 500 bucks a pop. All you need to break even is sell 40 courses. What you have to do to fake it is click in that order on otherwise legit businesses such as NetJet, where you can book your one-time jet set or flight on the shortest route available, you know, because we're not really going anywhere, we just wanted to hop in. Then onto your mansion on luxury retreats, because who in their right mind would take your financial literacy seriously if you didn't have that cash flow drain on your balance sheet? Then on to Gotham Dream Cars, because that car dealer look is that low-key pan on the back that you give to your salesman self for being able to sell instead of trade. And then let's drop by eBay to collect your luxury paper shopping bags that you can proceed to fill up with the statements of your blown trading accounts. I bet you didn't know there was an actual aftermarket for these. Well, here you go. And then pick up your fake Rolex on another site because nobody will be able to tell from far anyway. And of course, back to eBay. Don't forget your fake Monopoly play money because for some reason we're in some kind of strip club here and we gotta make it rain at some point. Now crank up that camera, take as many shots as you can in varying context to make it seem that you're changing locations every time, and spin that shit out ad nauseum over a month on social media to amortize the cost of it all. 
Uh, what? Can you really fake all that? Yes, of course you can. In fact, that's exactly what most of them do. To impress these lazy asses who still insist that somehow it's possible to get rich quick trading by reading patterns in their off time and avoiding doing math altogether. In fact, the bigger the whole shit show is, the more plausible it looks. This whole scene is just part of a marketing budget for them. See this guy for example? He partially transitioned from trading wonder to brand building mentor. This, at least, was a genuine move, and in truth, I'd be lying to you and myself if I did not admit that I could in fact be learning quite a bit from these guys, meaning from their actual skill, which is marketing, not trading. And for you, as an aspiring trader, this whole avalanche of make-believe lifestyle is just one gigantic honeypot that you need to avoid at all costs, minus the fact that you have no more excuse for falling for it now, because I just showed you. And while we're drifting deeper into the mud as we keep on with this episode, here come the rags to riches storytellers. Right here, clickbaits are in full force. But behold the sick twist, because now we're compounding most of the idiocy cited previously, and we make it even bigger. The whole dance here is to spin a story that will make you believe that quote-unquote you could be that guy to make your dream. And it works because most people have not grown out of their five-year-old mindset that loves to be told a good fairy tale before bed. It usually goes with a story about how this dude turned 500 bucks into 100 grand in a year or the glorious life of that 22-year-old millionaire. It can only go two ways from here. Either this is true and it is most likely due to a set of peculiar circumstances which are not replicable by anyone including you, in which case it is worthless to you and you should not care about it. Or it is a bunch of lies and a plain scam as is the case most of the time, in which case you already know what to do. Guys, the overwhelming majority of these channels and pages spinning the whole young and rich BS are just that. BS. And while you're getting tangled up in the excitement that this could be you, just remember that it has in all likelihood not ever been them in the first place. How do we know? Because none of these people could show you an actual, long-term, detailed third-party audited proof of their performance. Yet they want you to believe that you can have a shot at it if you follow them and buy their mentorship program. That it will make it all so easy without doing the only valuable hard stuff. You know, the actual mind F called mathematics. That thing that you hope to run away from forever and still become profitable at trading someday. Not the chart reading, not plugging indicators and hoping for the best, not using tea leaves with pattern recognition and Fibonacci and whatnot. I'm talking real, actual mathematics. The stuff that these fake one-hit wonders don't even know the existence of. Alright, now let's move over to the last type of scam and put an end to this misery. Let's make way for those wonder traders slash signal sellers. Their scheme works two ways. The first kind is the classic deposit scam. They will generally ask you to wire in some funds, promising to make you ludicrous returns and then making deposits back into your account, without ever talking about your downside while well, risk is the absolute first thing that any professional should mention. Words like guaranteed are often pushed to convince you. And here's the thing. Because they know that what most people are after is getting an income from trading, they will often state that they can generate you this much per day or this much per week or per month. That alone should already raise a major red flag. Look, please hammer it down into your minds once and for all. There is no such thing as deriving an income from trading, guys, or at the very least on a subannual basis. Trading is only meant for profit through capital appreciation or capital gains, not for steady cash flow. You cannot derive a regular income from a quasi-random process. It can be done. Trading is a totally unfit strategy to create an income. If income is what you're really after, then that is what bonds and real estate are for. So when someone offers to make you X dollars or percent per day or week or month, whatever, then from the get-go, you should already know that something really fishy is going on. In in reality, the ugly pattern with that kind of scam is pretty straightforward. You send them the money, they might pay you once or twice if you're lucky, and then you can kiss your capital goodbye because they tend to disappear in a shopping accident. Now the second kind of bastards pulling these tricks has to be the sleaziest though. I call it the snapshot fest. Why? Because the whole dance to entice clients throws pretty much the worst, most disingenuous crap at their targets. 
Of course, it goes without saying that their common denominator is yet again the blatant lack of a third-party audited track record. And I know it's getting old, but that's always the case. But don't worry, because they have the solution though. With self-made trading records, supposedly showing you a performance history, but made in-house of course. You know, the guy that self-audits himself? I mean, heck, what would you not trust that? After all, he's giving you his word. I mean, no people. A proper track record is not an Excel spreadsheet or a screenshot of a broker statement or of your phone's trading app. The whole value of a track record is not so much a track record in itself, it's the third party assessment. Do you understand? Anything less is a lousy substitute at best. Self auditing is an absolute freaking joke in trading. But because these guys know that the vast majority is completely oblivious to what proper independent proofing really is, they will literally throw the entire book of abominations at you. So you will get the usual broker statement snapshot in the Excel spreadsheet. But it does not stop here. That will also be in the form of fake and or cherry pick testimonials using screenshots of made up text conversations with their supposed subscribers. Another one of their favorite alibis is to show you an empty for screenshot from their phone, usually an Android based device like a Samsung phone. The nerds out there will know why. It has to do with how you can make an MT4 account look real despite it being a demo on Android. But if that option does not work for them, even an iPhone based MT4 app can be used to fake great trades from real accounts even though they are not making any money. Confused as to how this works yet? Let me show you. What they do is pull the good old hedged accounts trick on you. As I said earlier, these scams are not even close to being sophisticated. Here's what they do. They go ahead and open two real accounts. Every time they buy on one account, they immediately hedge their positions with the second one. Then they wait for one of the accounts to go deep in profit and they take a snapshot of that account showing only those winning trades that are offsetting their mirrored yet opposite trades in their hedging account, which of course they do not show. And bam, here it is. Now you understand how it works, you also understand why most of these screenshots conveniently show multiple positions of the same instruments. You also understand why these positions are all open at the same level, usually at the same time, with the same lot size and of course the absurd PL that comes with it. All of the same typical giveaways that keep showing consistently simply because these lazy scums don't even have the grip to mix different underlyings in the same account, lest having 1 out of 5 trades not showing a positive PL at the time of the screenshot. Cause you have to have all that no loss blue to be credible, right? And that leads me to another thing right there. They know that people equate hit rates with expectancy. And right here with that single sentence, I know I already lost half of you. No, a 90% hit rate as advertised here means jack as to whether you're going to make money. In fact, a 1% winning ratio can be theoretically profitable. Trading is all about the expectancy, not the probability. I specifically made a course about that already, so if you do not know what I'm talking about, do yourself a favor and level up your trading education by watching this video. No excuses. Otherwise, you will remain in this group of people who get sucked in by scammers, preying on your trading illiteracy by touting these ridiculous win ratios and I'm not even going to talk about those trade setups that are all shown after the fact once they end up in positive territory of course. I mean why do I even bother to build a proper track record here? Why do I not take a chart, write down a prediction on it and if it turns right then I'll publish the before and after to show you how skilled I am? I mean why bother putting in actual trades anymore? Why did I not think about that sooner? This is absolutely preposterous. And here's the last one of the ugly tricks for these self-titled traders and signal sellers. Once the sales pitch is over, they'll finally reel you in using the broker affiliate tactics, uh, I mean link, where you will either be compelled or at the very least highly encouraged to open an account with their so-called broker partner or preferred broker or trusted broker. It's all about the wording. Yeah, because these brokers must offer better spreads and execution than others, right? Not necessarily. In fact, it may or may not be the case, but that's not the point for them. Let me tell you how that works. What they're after is called commission agreement kickbacks by churning your account like a heavy duty washing machine. That is how these people actually make their money. Referrals, MLM schemes, and enforced conflicts of interest. Here's an example, a YouTube for sensation by the looks of it. Sleek website, no doubt. But what do I see? Oh boy, brokerage sign up landing page. And another one. And, oh no, the straight out referral page. Let's try another one here. Jason Greystone, one of my favorites. Jason, hey, Jason, I can see the testimonials here, but I can verify any of that. However, I can't find a track record on your website. 
did you forget it? Or is it because you're affiliated with one of the most notorious trading scammers on the internet? Yeah, maybe that's why. And now to hammer the point home about broker affiliates, let me show you some other examples from Instagram this time. What do you see here? What about this one? What do you see? And this one, what do you see? You got the pattern yet? Got the only one thing that matters to these guys and unify them all? All of them since the beginning of this video? Let me make it big enough for everyone to see. Sales, not trading gains, is how they profit. Forget about the very profits that they are supposedly here to help you build. For them, trading is just an excuse, a medium to achieve another goal. In reality, it is all about sales. Social media is one big promotional platform to them because all that matters to them is sales. In all of the cases that we just saw from the self-proclaimed traders, the scheme is always the same. Sell you something by making you believe that they can help you despite the complete absence of any third-party evidence that they actually can. And what do you get? Bogus trading material that won't make anyone a lasting dollar in a million years. Or in the absolute worst case, you'll get your capital stolen outright. That's it. That is what you will actually get from salesmen who can't show you a proper track record. Invariably. And if you believe that you will be the exception, then I'm truly sorry for you because you or your account, or both, will find out the hard way. Now here is the ultimate kicker. And please do keep your sense of humor here because the irony gets pretty steep and it can actually be really infuriating. This is how cynical the whole thing culminates. Remember these guys? Apparently they're also looking for traders to trade their capital because for some odd reason, they're so good they can trade it themselves apparently. But anyway, guess what the requirements are? I mean, seriously, try to take a guess. A third party audited track record. What a coincidence. So when it comes to their money, they remember what the basic standards are before committing to anything in trading. Funny how that works, huh? You see guys, it is all by design. This is the kind of trading ethics of what's on offer online. Stuff that is 100% not backed by actual achievements. This is all talks and no substance. The one and only reason why all of these laughable operations resort to these shenanigans is that none of them can actually trade consistently. So all of them naturally shy away from going the only valid way, which happens to be the hard way, meaning building a long-standing, statistically significant performance trail of live trades that have been 100% audited by a third party and that shows precisely what return and volatility a trader does indeed generate. Full stop. Bone dry, that is the least a trading resource should do before making any claim or selling anything. And that is the route I've chosen. No matter how long it takes to present something worthy of trust, professional, and genuinely representative of what I do produce for myself, you will not get anything else. Look, I'm putting myself in your shoes and I damn well know that it is an absolute nightmare when you start. The information out there on the internet and social media is plain abysmal when it is not plagued by straight scams. It will not only teach you nothing, it will also set you in a place of negative knowledge where the little that you learn will not only harm your trading results, it will also distract you from dedicating your time and attention to valuable scientific research that is the only actual way that you will be able to progress. To the point that most of you will even become broke and disgusted by trading altogether before you even start and until you give up. It's a dream killer for most. I get it. That is why I am being intentionally harsh and polarizing in my educational videos. There is a reason to my madness. I need to hit your ego hard to jolt you out of the lies that you've been conditioned to accept before you can start learning something of value. Unlearning all of that retail nonsense is a must if you want to get unstuck and move forward. After all these years, I'm here to tell you, very, very little material of value is out there to actually help you find your trading edge and even the tight available pool of valuable resources will still not be enough to help you get your trading business off the ground with holistic knowledge that is sufficient to build reliable strategies of your own. The systems that I have built over the years and that I work with every day, I have researched them myself and built them from scratch. And most of them ironically work in the opposite direction of what they teach you in government accredited finance curriculum as well as what is shown online or in the so-called financial literature. I promise you, all the drivel that you've been groomed to take for granted, you must do away with first. Because if you don't, all you're going to do is either have the market hurt you or get some scammer to do it for you. 
And look, any way you look at it, there is no shame in failing at trading. Despite what you've been told, trading is not for everyone. Only a very thin minority of people are wired in such a way that they will succeed just like there is only a very small fringe of my audience who will be comfortable following this channel. You see, trading requires this conflicting blend of being both fluid enough to be able to admit that you've been wrong and still be solid enough to grow the courage to acquire both the knowledge and the mastery of your strategies. Most people are able of neither. Some of just one, but rare are those who can level up to both. That is why the success rate is so low and the reward is so high. You see, most people have been groomed and shamed into remaining what the PC culture calls being positive. Meaning that the cult of blind acceptance and complacency has instilled in them a fear-based rejection of critical thinking, being too afraid of the social backlash of being called a hater. And this has created a horde with egos as large as their standards are low. Guys, there is nothing positive about stroking your ego for being a gullible fool. Being positive, truly positive, actually means showing some self-respect. The self-respect to acknowledge that in trading like anywhere in life, reality does not reward beliefs. Do you really want to know why the scams that we review do thrive the way they do? I'm going to say it to you like it really is. Now hold on, this is not a blanket statement. It does not apply to absolutely everyone, but it does apply to the wide, the very wide majority. And if it costs me half of my subscribers for saying it, then so be it, I'll say it anyway. Scams do proliferate the way they do because most of you are willing enablers of the evil that you complain about and fall victim for. And yes, most of you, sadly, plainly deserve all of it. Look, I too have been fooled in the past. Being fooled is not the issue. No matter our degrees, we all started in the state of complete ignorance in this field. What is appalling and downright scary, however, is the state of complete intellectual surrendering and the calcified pride from beginners that when confronted, will stubbornly certify until they're blue in the face that something is a fact about trading. That's their word. Oh, it's a fact. Without having performed the slightest quantified investigation about it. And then they proceed to keep on getting their asses handed over and over again to them by the market. But still they're sure of themselves. And guess what? They keep coming back for more of the same to these scammers who are all too happy to rip them off. Hashtag never learn. You know what? That is why I'm saying that trading is not inclusive. Once again, it is not for everyone. And refusing to acknowledge that reality by refusing to let go of these trading delusions is the dire reason which explains why the trading education market is where it's at right now. Not even 10% of that crap would be allowed to fly if most of you forced yourselves to think for a minute and demand proof of what these people have actually achieved. The trading education market is nothing less than the reflection of the quality of its audience. Yes, it is harsh, but it is true nonetheless. Guys, I'm serious. The answer is you, your critical curiosity, your willpower, and especially your intellectual honesty. You need to stop lying to yourselves. And if you don't, the market will slaughter you. Yes, trading success is out there for the taking, but you need to finally draw a freaking line. Snap out of this intellectual apathy and filter out once and for all the content that you consume. You need to get to that point where you get so sick and tired of stagnating and making losses that you finally come to admit that trading might maybe, just maybe, involve something a little more difficult than staring at a chart with a pattern with a shape that gives you a nice emotional tingle or getting on a quest for that magical combination of indicators that you will end up torturing until they fit your narrative. Because this is all that they teach you and that is absolutely not how trading works. So go ahead, therefore pass along your questions. I'll do my very best to answer why I'm still under the social media radar and the volume is low. There is no being a noob. I'm still learning a few nuggets here and there, even after 15 years of doing that stuff. Just please do not expect me to spoon feed you about the topic at hand in this video. I am not your personal anti-scam assistant. I already published enough educational material by now that absolutely nobody will ever tell you about. And I am not even close to being done. You know, I only wish they had someone to kick my butt and tell me the truth when I started. I didn't have that luck. So consider it all the gift that I was never given. And as I mentioned in my previous videos, I trade for a living. I am not a content provider and I produce very few videos, but those few courses that are out there, they mean it, they're for you. With engaging content that is guaranteed to leave you with a few major takeaways by the time you're done watching. If you're really serious about trading, if you've got the guts and motivation to really learn how knowledge and do some actual math at some point, 
things are just getting started for the best. So hit that educational videos playlist and hit it hard until those concepts reviewed in them become a second nature. And in the meantime, let's save people some money and share this video with all your trading buddies, including those people you know who are desperate for some extra income and are about to make a big mistake right now. They will thank you for it later. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take good care of yourselves, traders, and trade smart.